hello and welcome again from shiv and this is uh, next tutorial of functions this has been recorded at uh, 720p so please watch at 720p for optimal resolution note that uh, i have used uh, header iso 646.h which i have introduced earlier it allows shorthand for certain operators and then let's go to our main function but uh, okay these functions are not implemented subtraction multiplication and division so you are supposed to implement it as a as a task okay so i have my main function and i take two uh, character arrays n1 and n2 and uh, this is the menu of the program you have to enter two floating point numbers with base 2 and then the operator so if operator is plus addition will be performed on that so see how i am passing in one and in two and then i go to addition so in addition i have several variables so i first call format n1 n2 and i pass four variables which are nothing but character pointers of half the size uh, it's just an assumption that half will be integral half will be fractional so it can handle binary numbers with as many as 512 characters in integral part and 512 as fractional part so once you pass it to this format what i do is i have used a library function called strtok and you are supposed to know about this function so as a task i'll leave it to you what it does is i have an, i have a delimiter called dot so when i'll pass it to n1 what it will do is it will take the left half which is the integral part of first number and copy that here using the another library function strcpy and then the same string which is there after the dot will be passed again to strt okay and it, that will be stored in the fractional part this these are part one of uh, first number and then i get the second part then what happens is the fractional parts may not be identical in length so what i do is i make them equal i make them equal here so once these are equal i return okay now what do i mean by making them equal say suppose my number is 1.1 and the second number is 1.11 so the first number should look like 1.10 otherwise my addition routine which i have written will not be very good in shape so i have made it equal i'll make it 1.10 and 1.11 so once that is done you might remember our addition from uh, earlier tutorial how i have added so now the length of fractional parts are equal so i just iterate and uh, iterate on the array and while array does not become one this is the simple addition of binary numbers i go on decreasing now i come to integral part and then i and j are there and then i add them also and once that is done i handle the carry and once the carry is done you make sure that everything is all right by further evaluating the carry for i and j now uh, explaining this is really difficult so once this is done you need to concatenate them and put a dot in between and then you finally print the number so let's see how this works okay so this was the output of the last video so let's run this say 1.1 with my first number 1.11 is the second number and plus is the operator okay so something is messed up okay the printing is messed up okay so n1 n2 got messed up because they were passed as array so it has been some time since I made this program so what I would do is n1 and n2 are getting okay so what we do is we do strcpy um, original one comma n1 and then we take this and then we take this and we paste it say okay this should fix the problem of printing because sum is fine 
so we print it as original one and original two. note that strt okay modifies your string okay so now we make it again and we give again the numbers and we give the pointer okay so one of the numbers didn't get printed okay Outage one did not get printed. Okay. Next year. Outage two. Mm -hmm. Three strings. For some reason, Outage one is not getting printed. Okay, Outage one is getting printed, but it's on a different line. You see. Uh, hang on. This is. 1.11 plus so this this is a different line so it is getting printed it's just about formatting that uh, the new line is coming there which is part of your string so you see 1.1 and then plus and then 1.11 is 11.01 which is uh, correct result because uh, 1 and 1 becomes 1 sorry 1 and 0 will become 1 and then 1 and 1 will become 10 so 0 and then 1 gets carried to the integral part and then 3 ones makes 11 so that's fine so I'll terminate the program now I'll show you this program from top very slowly so that you can study if you want to copy the code you can copy the code and then you read it and study it so this is the second page and then I'll proceed to third page and then I'll proceed to fifth page. So this is just for you to copy. In case uh, if you want to contact me, you can put a comment. I'll send you the source file. So no need to copy. If you need it, I'll just send the source file. No problem with that. I'll send the source file to you if you need this. And uh, please uh, fill in the values for this subtraction multiplication division that's up to you thanks for watching the video please wait for the next one in which we'll do something even more